Hey, it's Felrags, and in today's video, I'm going to be making a game inside a game, and I'm going to be doing that by uh, playing Retro Studios, which I've seen people play, and you can make your own creations, and it replicates old Roblox, and I thought that was interesting, so I'm going to make a uh, video on it, where I make a game inside a game, uh, but yeah, I'll talk about a bit about my history with Roblox, I guess, before I start this video. I remember playing Roblox a long time ago, and playing as a guest. Those guests were definitely not accurate to what you were in-game. I feel like I got scammed, but okay. But yeah, I finally made a count in 2016 and uh, played some Roblox game. Did the Roblox 2016 egg hunt and also farmed alt accounts to get ticks. Yeah, those currency. And bought myself some Nickelodeon slime pants and shirts to go with my fit. Crazy fit I was cooking up. And yeah, I lost my account. I made another one that got banned. And then I'm on to my current account, which is the Fail Rex account, which I made in 2018. So, yeah. Actually, a lot of stuff happened in between those two years. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, before we get into this video, if you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe, hit that post notification bell, like, comment, and share. Anyways, let's get into this. I feel like there's a lot to do. So, let's go. Okay, we're in. And I'm going to be uh, going straight to the build and uh, create a place. And let's start the building process. Okay, this is what it looks like. This is honestly pretty impressive how it looks like this. Okay, this looks way different to the current studio, so I'm going to have to figure some stuff out. But uh, the game I want to make is basically a simple game since this looks like old Roblox, like really old Roblox. So I'm going to be making a simple game to match the theme of Roblox back then where there was much more simple games. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. So basically, I'm going to make a uh, game where you roll around a uh, ball and stuff. Okay, so I found where the part was. And now I'm going to turn it into a ball, hopefully. Okay, there it is. A ball. Now we have a ball, and I have to have it unanchored so you can roll it. it okay, it's already unanchored. So yeah, let's go into it and see how it's worked. Okay, we're in. And as you can see, it is working. The ball is here and you can roll it. So uh, let's make a game out of this. Okay, so this is where we have the starting platform where you start off with your ball. And you're basically going to roll it across this uh, deadly void and try to make it to the end with your ball companion. So I'm going to just build this level like real quick. You're going to go straight. Then you're going to take uh, a left. Then you're going to go more forwards, but then you're going to take a sharp right. Then you're going to go straight ahead again. Then you're going to cut back to the middle. And then the last part, you're going to have to go to a very thin platform and make it to the other side. As you can see, it's thinner. It's only three studs instead of four, so it's going to be harder, less leeway. And then the platform here where you get to the next level. Okay, there it is. I finally snapped it. And now there's a level, and I'm going to play test it for you and see if I can beat my own level I made. I didn't anchor it. Oh my goodness. I freaking missed that. Are you serious? Okay, so I actually anchored it this time. So let's see if I can do this. Okay, I'm going to push it slowly. Did I anchor the ball? I did. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's actually not anchored. My guy just has no push. But it's clearly not moving. So, I mean, it must be welded. Give me a minute. Okay, there's nothing attached to it. My guy just has horrible push game. Like, push it. You're so weak. Okay, wait, now it moves. What? Wait, let me figure out why it was bugged. Okay, so putting the ball on the ground keeps it, like, welded there for some reason. But if I place it a bit higher and then start, it has physics to it. Is this, like, some weird jank of old Roblox? Okay, well, let's just get ahead. Oh, my! Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to make a quick button to respawn the ball. So, uh, oh, oh. I don't even know what I was doing. Okay, let's see if I can even beat this first. Okay. No. Okay, I need to speed you up. You're way too slow compared to the ball. Alright, time to input a script. I'll put a local script into the user's GUI. And I'll start coding this up. Okay, let's figure out what to do. Okay, I'm going to be honest. That uh, GUI thing had a lot of stuff and I was a bit too confused. But you know what? This is going to be a more hardcore game. God! Okay. What? Let's be real careful. Okay, maybe this is the whole game. This is so hard. No, but I have to beat this once. Holy. Okay, let's do this. 
Oh, yeah, okay, you gotta tap it carefully. Oh, no. <sighs> Are you serious? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna work on the button to respawn this. So, let's get another part. We're gonna get this part. We're gonna place it over here. And we're gonna make it uh, this color as the button. Because now we have this. Let's uh, input a script into it. So I'm going to use the click detector interaction for what it is clicked. It will clone the ball that I'll put in the replicated storage and spawn it. I just noticed there is no storage. Uh, I'm going to hide a ball somewhere and have it anchored and make it unanchored when you uh, clone it. Okay, so this is going to be the clone ball and I'm going to just move it under this main platform and this will be the main clone and uh, I'll call this ball clone because it'll be the clone where it gets cloned when you click this. Okay, so basically when this part is clicked, it will clone this. So let me connect this. It will clone the ball clone and parent it to this. And then I'm going to set the vector three to spawn like somewhere here. So let me uh, get the position. So I'm basically going to set the position to be on the button, but a little bit more up. All right, let's see if I was cooking. I'm not cooking. Look at these errors. Oh, obviously I had to put the click detector script inside a click detector in a part. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, I think I want to set the object's property, actually. Okay, I did some tweaking and it should work. Okay, it's errored. Man, this coding's a bit hard. I got to really figure out how I even move the part after I cloned it and change it's anchored. Okay, after that scripting, uh, I figured out absolutely nothing. So I have no clue how to do it. So uh, this is truly the hardest game. You have one shot or you gotta reset the whole game. Okay, let's go. You know what, whatever. I'm gonna just try to beat it anyways. Just gotta be very careful of what you do. I might have made the hardest game ever because you can't even control it and you have one shot and I messed up. Okay, uh, this is my last attempt. If I don't beat this, I'm going to just go straight to the outro and call this a failure. Okay, so this is the outro. Anyways, that was a super impressive game even though I had no clue what to do. It's still really impressive that they mimicked Roblox Studio inside of Roblox itself. That's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I did enjoy my time just figuring out what to do and seeing like how old Roblox Studio used to look. I'm assuming that's pretty accurate because it's supposed to simulate it. So it was pretty interesting going back and the dragon uh, click block coding was interesting even though I had no clue what to do. I still had like some enjoyment trying to figure things out even though in the end I really didn't know what to do. But anyways, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And anyways, see you later on my next videos. Goodbye.